10, 12, and I'm toasty in this tackle. So I will be honest, yesterday, the third, I got no words. I know you saw me typing. I wrote, I wrote a few words like then, but then I deleted them because I hated them. So yesterday was a zero word kind of day. Today is most likely going to be not quite the goal for the word count day today because it is going to be filled with client work yes i have two projects to read today and then i'm going to get at least halfway on one more so it's going to be all day reading which honestly i haven't had a day like that in a while so but i don't anticipate having enough time to write and then when i do have the time wanting to write after staring at my computer all day but who knows but yeah that's me it's 10 20 i said that and i'm making coffee and i'm gonna watch an episode of my dearest because it updated today and after this episode there are three episodes left the one tomorrow and then two next week i'm not ready it's gonna be sad and i'm not ready i just feel it in my bones it'll be sad I'm not ready hi hey hey hi <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, I think I'm live. I think everything's good. My hair looks crazy, but it's fine. Hey, hi, hello, it's 7.20. Today hasn't really gone to the plan I had initially established. I believe I talked to you today, so I had a lot of client work to do, and I do still. Um, it's going to be a late, 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 late night because I also have a stream with Autumn at 11, but we cannot stay and chit chat like we normally do, unfortunately, because I have too much to do. But I have to have dinner first, so I figured I would eat that and then get started. I just started a new K-drama, uh, Moon in the Day. Moon in the Day. I love this actor. He plays like the same, the same roles and everything I've seen him in. This is a funny angle for him as well. But it's the, what is his name? He's from Shooting Stars. He's from a historical that just filmed or just released a few months ago. Kim Young Day. He is so funny. He's so funny. And I don't know how his character is going to be for the rest of the drama, but in episode one, I just I just love his acting, the way he acts. Like, he's pretty, but he's just so quirky. It's just, oh, ow. Also, I recently finished Tale of Noktu. Oh my gosh. I was watching it with my cousin. And, like, everybody I've seen talk about it likes it. Like, they love it. They My cousin loved it. Everybody I've seen talk about it loves it. I genuinely did not like it. I would not have finished it. I probably, I, I would, I definitely would not have finished it if I was not watching it with my cousin. There's so many plot holes and like things that just weren't tied up in the end. I did not enjoy it. I said, I don't know. <laughs> and like, it's a historical drama, but like it wasn't historically accurate and like the representation of like, they had a wedding at like the end and I'm like, this isn't even historically accurate of the wedding of those times. Oh, it was driving me crazy. She would jump, she jumped into his arms and wrapped her legs around his waist. And I'm like, in this time period, no. I want to look up the reviews. See if anybody, anybody is on the same page as me. 10 stars, 10 stars, 10 stars, 10. Anyone, lowest to highest rating. I just need someone. These are not in English. The story is convoluted. It really was convoluted. Convoluted. So convoluted. The person said they liked the show, but why'd they give it one star? I'm just like, I was like losing my mind. Out of 65,000 people, it's got a 9.4 out of 10. I'm like, how? How many one stars do I have? Tail Nokdu, Imitation, Kokdu. Hang on one second. I'm getting a call from my DoorDash order. Hello? Oh, okay. No worries. Thank you. Bye. They said they couldn't find the location of the restaurant, so they're just gonna be late. Kokdu, Season of Deity. This one's gonna be controversial. <laughs> so controversial. Do I say it? Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bokju. I did not enjoy it. She would never know. Startup, Forecasting Love and Weather. Those are all. Those are it. Those are the ones that have one heart. The K2. The K2 also did. K drum update. There we go. Not to sound like a weirdo or anything. My door dasher's name is Jason. His voice was so attractive. Are you single perchance? <laughs> Keep doing that. Boom, ding, ding, boom, 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 boom. But then again, I'm just realizing now that he said we didn't realize the restaurant was. Oh, he's calling me again. Jason, love of my life. Hello? Um, you just. No drink, that's fine. Bye. <sighs> Heart's all a flutter. 
I'm just kidding, it's not. If he calls me one more time, then it's fate. <laughs> I don't know if I've talked. Did I tell you I, I do have three projects? I sent stuff to Patreon today too, so I can't remember where I told you and where I told my Patreon stream. But I have three projects, um, two that need to be done for sure before I go to bed tonight. Do you want to get halfway in the third? Because it's not due until 11.40 tomorrow night, so I can finish it up tomorrow in the morning. Bum, diggy, diggy, bum, 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 bum. Stop. You're being really annoying right now. Ada. Hello, so I am going upstairs. I have about, I think, I wanna say 50 pages left of project one. The live stream with Autumn starts in three minutes and we should probably go. We do this once a month and if you have never attended our- I thought I could DoorDash coffee this morning, but apparently Walgreens doesn't have my K-cups listed on their website. So <laughs> we have to get coffee. It is- foggy weird it's 10 no it's 9 30 we fell back an hour you gotta change that clock i'm like it's not 10 30 <laughs> i forgot that was happening if i hadn't looked at my phone i wouldn't have known to be honest though and that clock and that clock i gotta change all my clocks no okay hair's up I never wear my hair in a bun but it looks horrendous and we cannot walk out of the house with it looking how it is i slept on it wet last night and the result is terrifying i'll be back with the goods. The goods have been acquired and for some reason I feel like I've been hit by a truck. It's probably because I had three cups of coffee yesterday. Still, friends, went to bed by three. How? Why was I so tired at three? Hello? And then woke up at like 8.45. Like, I can't complain. I did drink three cups of coffee. The consequences are all on me. Save a dollar. A dollar fifty. On my coffee next time. This is going on the fridge. It's going on the side of the fridge because we can't mar our beautiful boys. I gotta move them soon because literally Han is one photo card away from meeting an entirely new row. And I don't have any room for more new rows. Someone was cute. Someone messaged me on Instagram. If you're watching this, you're so sweet. Uh, they said that they saw Chan on my fridge and they're like, oh, stray kids everywhere all around the world. Everywhere, friends. That's so fun though. Stay author, friends. That's like a niche that I never knew I needed and I'm blessed. <laughs> this is like a glorious sight right now. Just this thing entirely filled with coffee. Look at that. Glorious. Oh, so let's probably like talk about what today's gonna look like. I have client work this morning, um, a lot of pages. It's gonna take me a long time. And then when I finish, I'm most likely gonna wanna take a nap and then I have the rest of the night to myself. I have three chapters that I'm reading for my friend. I need to read for my friend. Um, so I wanna do that tonight. Also wanna get some words in because I don't wanna be further behind than I already am. Because let's calc calculate. Calc calculate. Let's calculate how far behind I am. So including today, I need to write 5,001 words to write for today, to yesterday, and the day before. That's not terrible. It is more than I've written in one day in a long time. Because the other day, on day one of NaNo, I feel like I wrote a lot and I only wrote 3,099 words. Which is still a lot for me for coming out of my slump. 5,000 words after reading a 500 page manuscript. I don't know if uh, that's my kryptonite, my level of you know. So we'll see, we'll see together. Look at these bags. Adulting is so hard. <laughs> I don't wanna do it anymore. I want to go back to being a kid, living my kid life. How nice would that be? Okay, I'm gonna drink this coffee. I want to watch My Dearest. Um, My Dearest didn't update yesterday, and it was supposed to, and I'm very confused as to why it didn't. I saw a freaking article that they were thinking about extending the like the end release, like pushing back when they released the last episodes, and I'm like, you better not. Unless you're gonna add more episodes. Don't mess with the release schedule. Like you've already established it. Yeah, see for some reason episode 17 just dropped today, but usually it drops Saturday, Sunday, but today is Sunday. Episode 17 has dropped, episode 18 has not loaded yet. I swear to God, if I come back to this and it says available in 10 days or 12 days, I will lose my marbles. Remember that last time I went and checked and it said of coming soon, and I'm like, what does that mean? And then it said coming in 30 days, I will lose my marbles. I'm far too animated this morning running on no coffee. I'm just saying. 
But we're, so we're just gonna watch the moon in the day because if I'm gonna have to wait a long time for freaking my dearest update, I might as well watch something else first. I feel so rough. I haven't moved. Also, my hair is crazy because I like well, deodorant. Whipped my headphones off my head because oh my gosh, I feel like my head's been squeezed. I haven't moved in hours. It's been hours. It is 6.11 right now. 6.11. You guys, that, that was a lot. It's far too late to take a nap. So unfortunately, our only option is coffee, which is not unfortunate, uh, but sort of kind of is. My butt is killing me. My eyeballs are killing me. My ears from the freaking headphones are killing me. I'm a hot mess. I need coffee. I am not a happy camper. Why are they, f why are they doing this? This is like so enraging to me. Why are they dragging out the ending? Stop. My thing is, if it's not gonna be a happy ending, let's not drag it out. We'll just look in our fridge for the joy that we need. Anyway, it's uh, it's only 8.15. I thought it was 9.15. Well, that clock, I haven't reset it yet, that's why. Um, It's only 8.15. I took a shower just to like, you know, wash my hair and stuff, like I said, and uh, it's time to get writing. 5,000 words. I don't know, guys. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't even know what scene I'm on or what scene I need to write, so I don't know how I'm gonna be writing 5,000 words. I'm not sure. But I need to write and I need to edit this YouTube video, which I have to get the words because, like, otherwise this video, it's a very sad nano rhymo video. So let's write 5K in one day. <sighs> it doesn't even sound like... If I'm being honest, I don't want to do anything but watch TV. It's fine. So we're gonna just start writing. To be honest, if it doesn't go well, I'm not gonna force it because, I mean, the last thing I wanna do is force words just for the sake of forcing words because that's actually why I developed a dislike for nano for me to begin with is because I started just like writing stuff that I knew I was gonna cut later just in order to hit my word counts. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's kind of why the other day when I wrote, I wrote a little bit that morning and I deleted it because I just didn't enjoy it. We're not gonna force it, um, but we're gonna try. So let's see, where is my document? Is it this one? No, it's this one. No, it is this one? Yes, it is this one. Okay, so actually I've got a feeling I'm gonna be working around the document or at least filling it, finishing the scene that I kind of got going and then starting a new scene. So I'm just gonna actually write down, count on like a, on the side right here, 17, five, four, five. And I have to fill out the fact that I had zero words for my tracker, you know? So for day three, zero, day four, zero, day five, we haven't written yet. So to be on track, we need 5,000 and one, I think. So we're gonna try. We're gonna give it the good old college try. I feel like I could. Huh, my battery's dying. Of course it is. I'm telling you, it's a bad sign. Bad sign. Hello. I feel like I look, <laughs> I look so rough. Don't worry guys. I feel rough too. I need to get my phone because I need to check my word count and so we can see how close we are. Oh, it's 12. Oh, it's 12 on the dot. Wow. It's 12 o'clock on the dot. I was gonna say I feel wide awake. I thought it was one o'clock. I still haven't changed the clock that I actually look at. I don't usually look at those clocks because obviously I cannot see them from my living room. <laughs> the only one I can see from my living room is the one I haven't changed yet. I'm like, it's one o'clock. Wow, I feel wide awake. I don't know. It's midnight, which is still crazy, but 17, 545. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 4,018 words is what I've written. So I need like a thousand more words. <laughs> Am I technically on track though since I had that big word count day on day one? Am I? Am I? <laughs> so 14,3099. Okay, remember that number. 1667 times five. 8,335, so technically I'm on track. 
I'm counting it. Okay, we're counting it. I'm done for the day. I'm actually like 4,018. That's the most words I've written in a long time. Day one was 3,099. I was super proud of that. So like, I am super proud, but I'm also, I finished the chapter. I wrote an entire chapter and I'm ready to stop. <laughs> what I realized, I haven't backed this book up at all. So we need to do that because how did I not back this book up? That's insane. It is now backed up, saved. Also, if you think about it, I have been on my computer all day today. Like, all day today, so. Ooh, ooh, that's a good line. I don't remember when I wrote that, but ooh, that's good. 18, baby. We, we passed 20,000 words, um, which y'all know it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. I do think what's happening right now is happening far, far, far too late in the story. We are just getting to the most likely to list at 20,000 words in, far too late. I definitely have to reorganize this. Probably a lot of it needs to get cut in the beginning. I use it to set the stage, but like I don't need, know if we need, the camera cut me off, that was very weird. I don't know if we need as much stage setting as I gave, so like I said, we're not thinking about it. We're not thinking about it. It's fine, you know, it is what it is that it's happening this late in this draft, but I'm not that worried. I think it's, it'll be something I fix in editing, so I'm trying not to worry about it right now. But I do just know it is not the right spot, but that's fine, you know? It's cool. I also need to figure out how to carry the Maisie plotline through a little bit more um, because I haven't been. I, I, I started to in this past chapter that I wrote because on the day that the list goes out, Madison and Maisie's like paths connect a few times. And so I made sure to incorporate that into Madison's book where I'm like, okay, look, up until now, Maisie hasn't played that much of a role. Like, Madison hasn't thought about her that much. I do want her to think about her more because obviously Maisie ties in pretty heavily to Madison's character arc in a way that we are going to explore more in Madison's book where we didn't so much in Maisie's book. And that's why I never really explored it too much in Maisie's book because I didn't want to resolve it in Maisie's book because it's supposed to get resolved and talked about in Madison's book. And so I didn't want to resolve it twice you know what i'm saying revelations are happening and i'm enjoying it so far so for now so far what i say it was like eight thousand something words that's exciting you know it's exciting especially me who's coming off of like hardcore burnout and like zero creativity honestly writing for the longest time the thought of it made me want to cry because i was very very upset thinking that my passion had just disappeared actually not that long ago I had a really, really hard day where I was just so like scared that I didn't want to be a writer anymore because I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I couldn't figure out why writing wasn't as fun for me anymore. And so 8,000 so far for like the month is so exciting. Genuinely, it's probably the most I've written in a long time. Consecutively, consistently, I, I have been really, really enjoying it again. And I'm excited to feel more like myself because for the longest time, I haven't really been feeling like myself. So I'm so happy that it's going well so far. And I'm hoping we can maintain this energy throughout the rest of the month, you know? Let me know in the comments down below how Nano is going for you. What is your current word count? Um, share me, share with me any tidbits you want to share about your story. I am always listening. I will let you guys go here because I do have to edit this video for tomorrow. I am Sarah Sutton. I am an indie author of 10 Young Adult Romance books and I will see you guys next time. Bye!